hi guys welcome back to another youtube video yeah guys so in oh sorry i was just ready to jump right in so welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome oh so, my name is jay um if you haven't subscribed us yet please go ahead and do i promise you this channel will keep you entertained it's all things of mom all things family life and yeah a wide variety of stuff guys so if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below all right guys so i wanted to try something a bit new on my channel well it's not really new new because if you know me and you know me well you know one thing jordan is gonna do is jordan is gonna sit and she will talk because i always have something on my mind it's just how i function <laughs> but anyways guys yeah i had this idea that i wanted to start doing something like called a mom talk you know being a young mother myself i tend to watch a lot of those stuff like you know just hearing other moms experience and all and uh, i just love talking about mom life because it's so there's always something new to learn if you get what i'm saying and i'm always i'm down to hear another person's experience but yeah so i just wanted to start this little thing on my channel where you know i just sit and i just share some stuff it might be inspiring it might be um like thought provoking like you know stuff to really get your mind really thinking and processing stuff you know those type of um so yeah because mother's day has just gone and i have really been doing a lot of journaling lately and i realized that it's really been helping me to process stuff and i thought you know i want to incorporate that on my channel as well so i hope you guys do enjoy this video if it's something that you'd like to see on my channel you can let me know down below and i will definitely incorporate it in more videos because it's like sometimes i have some stuff to review and i really like to sit and talk about some stuff you know so i'm like what better things to talk about than mom life <laughs> but anyways guys um before i jump into the topic for this video i would like to showcase this package it's a huge box Ugh. it's this big <laughs> yeah double 90 wet and dry cordless vacuum cleaner can be used on carpet and hardwood floors well, and you guys know my house is a mixture of both there's hardwood and there's carpet so we need that <laughs> and it's cordless guys we already know how appreciative we are of cordless items because moving forward my current vacuum my current vacuum that i use it's a card it uses a card and i have to be plugging in from here carrying into the next room and it is just a hassle so i'm currently dealing with something where nevea is sick once again yeah feels like a sad story of my life like every single time nevea overcomes one illness she picks up a next one like literally she was sick probably a week ago and she got better and i was just starting to rejoice and then boop, just like that something new she caught something new and um i am home with her because she is sick i picked her up on wednesday literally as i was driving out of work the daycare called me and they were like hey mom um neve has been vomiting since evening and they were telling me that like she's just not keeping anything down and i had to tell them that like i was literally this is the cordless wet and dry vacuum cleaner it's a three-in-one efficient cleaning one button self-cleaning and a voice assistance for cleaning and it's lightweight all right well i can lift up the box <laughs> Ow. I can lift up the box so that goes to show you but yeah so I picked up Nevea from daycare and picking her up on my way home she vomiting in the car 
I'm panicking. I don't know what to do because I'm like, you know, she is vomiting. Should I stop and pull over and whatever? But I just said to myself, I was literally on the highway and I was like, I can't pull over and like come out and do much right now. So I'm like, I'm talking to her. I had given her like a bag to help her to vomit into. And I'm like, okay, baby, just do it in that. And she was very calm, which is which was very surprising because normally when she's sick, she would be really panicky and you know, crying for me. But I'm telling her, my like, baby, mommy's driving as soon as I can, I will stop. And you know, and we got home. And guys, so from we got home Wednesday evening, she has been she vomited straight through Thursday, like. I don't know where in this house Nevea has not vomited like she vomited on the couches we have to clean down the couches she, guys Thursday night I was sleeping no is it Thursday night? no Wednesday night I was sleeping and I literally all I hear was mom and then I, oh because I brought her to sleep beside me and I opened my eyes and I'm like yeah and then it's like oh and that was Nivea vomiting all over me when I would just open my eyes and I was like oh my gosh like my poor baby so Thursday she didn't eat like the whole day she just could not keep down anything she could keep down water she could keep down juice she vomited she vomited she vomited so till like I even started to see yellow stuff when she vomited and I think that's bile, that's what I call bile, I don't know but it's like when your stomach is completely empty like there was nothing left like my poor baby guys I tried giving her a pedalite and I thought about carrying her to a doctor but I said I'm not gonna bring her to a doctor because she was just sick so I think she has the stomach bug which in Jamaica we call it gastroenteritis she has caught it several times before, so I know what to do, you know. So I'm trying to give her the pedalite and all the little stuff that can help her. She wasn't keeping down water. As soon as she drink the water, she'll bring it up back. If she drink juice, she'll bring it up back. So I just like, you know, when she asks for a sip of water, I give her a little sip. So we made it through Thursday. And today, she, well, Thursday night, she didn't vomit in the night. And I was thankful to God. Like currently right now, I literally have um what do you call that i have towels on the couch like towels all over the house it's bags candle bags plastic bags you guys get it? literally all over in the house just because i have to have some clothes because at the split second she will say mom i want to spit and when she says mom i want to spit that means she's gonna vomit and that's the end of it sometimes she can tell us Nevea was so weak guys like she was lying on that couch end up vomiting on herself and she didn't even have the strength to say mom like I was like oh my gosh this is really really bad like Nevea has gotten stomach bug already but she has never gotten into that bad where she can't she don't have control of certain stuff like she's just lying down like I literally have to be moving her like she she just could not move herself and we survived Thursday she is doing much better today she's not her usual self she's very weak still so she's just lying down a lot she ate a few bites of something today and I'm just trying to keep her hydrated so she's been drinking something constantly drinking her water drinking her juice she munch on the stuff but um, I read online that I should not give her anything heavy or nothing like that just like make it run 24 hours before I try like after she stopped vomiting up before I try to um, get her to eat regular food so that's what I've been doing and oh so the package comes with this and this is a warranty card so this is the warranty and this is the user manual that it comes with okay so I'm gonna try and set it up and see oh so it comes with a self charging base so I guess after I finish using it I would put it on back so that it can charge um, let me see if there is it okay assembly I don't like to read instructions for assembling stuff but I'm gonna try I hope all the moms out there I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day I know I did um 
babe what did we do for mother's day so babe was working oh so this is the base babe was working on mother's day so he got me um he got me a gift and all the stuff and we had dinner at home because i, I wasn't up to going out he had wanted to, to um get me something you know seeing that he wouldn't be able to bring me out on the day on mother's day and we stayed home this evening and we had dinner from my favorite spot so this is the oh it's cold this is the w so this is the vacuum it comes in this packaging guys when i tell you this package could not have come at a better time like with never being sick and all and me having to like clean everywhere every minute this is perfect because also this is what it looks like it's actually very lightweight for you the fact that i can lift it up like comparing it to my other vacuum this is real like my other vacuum i have to be like doing a full lift proper proper lift so yeah i do like how lightweight this is this is gonna be my new vacuum that i use <laughs> And I guess these are the cleaning parts to clean it, I guess. I will read the instructions because y'all know I don't like to read instructions sometimes. Babe and Nevi are currently sleeping. Nevi's taking a nap. So I thought this would be the perfect time for me to, you know, sit down and do a video and have this little talk with you guys. And just get some stuff done, you know. I not too long ago just finished a quick workout and then i took a quick shower and i said you know what it's the charger that it comes with so i took a quick bath and i was like let me get cleaning oh okay so it also comes with a multi-surface floor washing cleaner so this is it i like that i really like this brightening decontamination and anti-static floor washing cleaner i like that it comes i wasn't expecting a cleaner i thought i would have to like use my own thing and this is a sponge i'll check and see what that sponge is for but yeah i really like that it's like way way better i do not want to start cleaning It literally frightened me the voice <laughs> frightened me but i like it i like it it was so i thought i would have to be doing some adjustments like you know let me see what is because if it's that easy like literally out the package boops that's it guys come on how easy and convenient is that like i am not one of those persons that likes to be screwing in this screwing in that if it was hard i would have gone wake up babe and said babe come help me with this please and that's also something that I'm working on guys like you know being a mom I think sometimes I not just a mom just being a female overall sometimes I think I like to push myself too much and like I'm struggling and I don't ask for the help that I need and then I will break down and that's the time that I like lash out you know and I'm like if I need help I'm gonna ask for it so for example like help with Nevea like I've been struggling and I told you guys this couple videos back where I've been struggling with putting Nevea to bed like it's just been so rough I don't know if she's going through a toddler sleep progression whatever it is I know the daylight saving time was messing up with her and you guys had recommended changing the curtains in our room to get blackout curtains I have done that but she just 
will not fall asleep sometimes at night time like since i changed the curtains it's been easier but it's not been like easy easy so you know what i've done guys i sat down with babe with hobby and i said well not sat down we had the conversation and i was like babe i need you to take over nap time and i need you to help me with nevea to get her settled down for bed and just by saying that it was like it wasn't that hard jordan saying you're struggling like it was not that hard but you know sometimes i think i put too much pressure on myself thinking i'm superwoman and i can do it all which i cannot but i still like to try to do it all i don't know it clicked on its own Oh, okay, okay, so I guess if I want to pull it out, I guess I'll have to use this, but I'm not doing that, like, I'm not pulling it apart. It's secure, you put it apart, then I will call for babe and ask babe to help me, but other than that, we're fine. So, yeah, um, okay, so some of the stuff, low battery, a red light will come on, a green light when it's fully charged, so let me show you guys. Um, so the controls are up here at the top. Um, so on. Start cleaning. Power off. Please put that the machine to the charging base. Okay, and this is the charging base that it comes with. And I just connect, this is the cord it comes with. And just connect it right here. And I can go and plug it in in a section in the house. I think I'm not sure where I want to put it as yet. Oh, I can store it in the um, the little um, store it in that little room thingy that we have. But yeah, this is super easy. Um, so to use it, to use it, I add water to it so it says press the button to take out the clean water tap so press the button okay and there it is i press the button and it came off and then open the soft rubber cover lift and turn clockwise oh okay okay so that's it so here it is the soft rubber so open it lift and turn clockwise and i'll add the water there So you add the water, install, then press down, put the clean water tank back on the main part. The installation is complete after the quick sound. So please lift the main part before pushing the switch button. Okay, so the switch shift. So at the top right here, you can do... Okay, so um, this big orange button here is to spray the sprinkler you press that to spray the sprinkler and it has some more buttons right here at the front and this and show you guys how well it does and i'm gonna make sure that i put the link to this iLife um cordless vacuum in the description of the video so to that clean it to clean the sponge filter um I'm gonna have to keep so I guess this is the replacement for the sponge and you can take out the sponge clean it also the big roller blade that's in the mid that uses to um, pick up the stuff that can be removed so let me show you guys I click right here and I removed it so I just have the brush here and I can take it out and wash it and clean it and that is something that I am really happy about because with my other vacuum the regular old school vacuum I see it and I see that it looks dirty and I'm not able to take it out and give it a proper clean so this is super nice what after i finished vacuuming i oh babe gifted me a 
gift card for a spa i think i'm gonna actually book that book an appointment to get like a pedicure done or something because i think after the past few days of not being able to get proper sleep being up all night like just worrying over Nevea, stressing over Nevea, thinking oh you know because no mom wants to see their child sick like once their child is sick they instantly start to worry and start to fret about their child like we just cannot help it it's just how we are programmed like your baby coughs like you start wondering oh is are they okay you know I, I, I just don't know how to really you know like manage that properly but um so a friend reached out to me today and i am so happy that they reached out guys because sometimes you are struggling with stuff and like people don't even know like what's going through your head how you are struggling and they just will randomly say something and it literally changes your mood and it helps you so much so my friend sent me a message like because she saw me post saying that you know Nevi sick and all and she's a mom as well like a young mom too not young she's older than me but she's still young and she said to me she was like um jordan you know my daughter was the same she would get sick so often and i'd have to be taking her to the doctor and all and she was telling me that like don't worry and stress over it because she is developing her immunities against all the different things and i was thinking and i was like you know you're so right she's like remember when the baby is just born they still have whatever they got from your body you know and then they're eating like she said after they hit age one or heading out to two and so forth they're starting to build up all those little stuff you know and they're gonna catch all this stuff because after they start catching all the stuff eventually it will have no effect on them and that's just them building up their immunities and i sat and i thought to myself and i'm like you are so right because I remember my sister and myself like we used to catch gastroenteritis so much as children guys like it was unbelievable like we caught that and we caught like everything that blow we caught it like it just need to go in the ear and they start to worry and start to fret about their child like we just cannot help it it's just how we are programmed like your baby coughs like you start wondering oh is are they okay you know I, I, I just don't know how to really you know like manage that properly but um so a friend reached out to me today and I am so happy that they reached out guys because sometimes you are struggling with stuff and like people don't even know like what's going through your head how you are struggling and they just will randomly say something and it literally changes your mood and it helps you so much so my friend sent me a message like because she saw me post saying that you know nevi is sick and all and she's a mom as well like a young mom too not young she's older than me but she's still young and she said to me she was like um jordan you know my daughter was the same she would get sick so often and i'd have to be taking her to the doctor and all and she was telling me that like don't worry and stress over it because she is developing her immunities against all the different things and i was thinking and i was like you know you're so right she's like remember when the baby is just born they still have whatever they got from your body you know and then they're eating like she said after they hit age one or heading out to two and so forth they're starting to build up all those little stuff all right guys so i'm trying to show you all the floor i used it in here you can see a little bit of water on the floor because i had sprayed it a lot to get it to do that but after i finished using it vacuum that was how much dirt it picked up from vacuuming and i noticed that it vacuums and it mops at the same time so it won't mop unless i spray the sprinkler like so yeah i'm loving it where she'll get sick and it will just blow past her like nothing and i thought and i said you know thank you so much because i'm here sitting and i am saying to myself like over the past few days i've been like oh my gosh almost every other week never you get sick um Am I doing the right thing by having her, you know, going to daycare? Like, I thought and I said, like, 
should I pull her from daycare because she's constantly getting sick and then I'm like okay she is learning so much from daycare she's interacting with all the other kids she comes home and she's able to tell me so much like just the exposure that she has to the other children is so good for her developing and all you know and I said um like what if I stop her from daycare and then she comes home like because she's so sickly and she's so prone to get all this stuff I just like want to shelter her and keep her close which I know I can't do forever and it's just the type of mom that I am that I just want to shelter and hold her close and this you know typical mom stuff and I'm like I can't do that because at the end of the day I thought and I said me keeping her home what's going to happen when she reaches to kindergarten and then she goes out because she's been home because when she was home she was not getting sick right it's like she'd catch a cold but that's it like she was picking up all the different stuff you know and i was like when she goes out to kindergarten she's gonna face all these different stuff that are out in the air and with me keeping her home and then send her back home won't i have like a same repeat of what i'm currently going through won't I experience her getting sick all of a sudden and so forth because her immune system is not properly developed and she's just gonna have to adjust to it and I said you know what this that we're going through is a phase or a stage in life it's not permanent like she won't be always so sickly always catching all the different stuff eventually she'll get to a point where it will blow off her and I have to be so grateful for my friend for putting that into perspective for me because I was not looking at it like that like honestly only thing I was thinking about is the money part like she's missing daycare and I'm still paying for daycare like that's what I'm thinking about I'm like my baby is getting sick so often and she's bringing it home and then I get sick from her and I'm like it's just a whole cycle that I just can't bother with sometimes like it's a lot because anytime that I sick I do not sleep well I just stay up and I fret over her and I'll be like oh my gosh my poor baby and da 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 and I'm like it's something that she has to go through that's what I have to tell myself and I am just saying like you know I appreciate my friend for sending me that message because it really helped to get me like you know out of that whole mindset of worrying and fretting and saying like you know am I doing this right because at the end of the day no matter what we do we're always going to be worrying about our children like and my main thing is that any decision that I make right now it will have an effect on Nevea and whether that guys I'm trying to keep Nevea a dream from my face because she is someone that likes to lick people and I'm not into that I do not want to dream tongue on me because her tongue <laughs> picks up everything <laughs> so I'm trying to get her to not do that but you know she's still a pup so she's still um, growing and developing all those little habits and stuff and I oh I was saying that like every decision and everything that we make whether good or bad i know that it has some effect or it will have some um hold on what's this on you i have to check if i tick i don't want to tick in my house <laughs> yeah so everything that i do will have some effect on the fair and that's just the fact of life that like every decision that we do everything it affects our children in some way or the other and that is what i'm always conscious about and i'm like everything i s decide and so forth i'm like okay how will this affect nevea is it gonna be something i can fix can i not fix it like you know like i have to sit and think about that and that is one of the daily struggles that i have because I want to do everything right and yes I know I won't get everything right I'm only human I'm not perfect but at the same time I can try to be the best mom that I can be to that little girl because I want her to be able to go out in the world when she's older and she will be you know like at the point where she should be because mommy did her best or you know 
because I task myself it's like I have a girl child like I'm responsible for helping to develop a well-rounded young lady that you know will be able to do her best in life and dream what happened Bobby what happened I came across and I'm gonna share this with you guys I don't know if you've heard it before but I came across it and I loved it so much because it really it really stood out to me and it said life does not come with a manual but life does come with a mother or a mom and that might be to say some of us might not have our mom or our mothers in our life but we have somebody that plays that role you know what I mean and they are the ones that we get certain things from to say how we go into life and how we handle certain situations so yeah that's that holds a, a spot in my life and i'm like you know i want my baby to grow up and to be healthy and all this sort of stuff and the stuff that she sees me doing is what she's gonna do too so i'm trying to do better you know because i said on my on my like my it's not a vision board but it's more like a motivational board that i have in the house and i write different stuff to motivate me and i'm like I remember writing 2023 will be my year and that's the year that I'm using to focus on all the areas that I need to be working on and I honestly can look back and say that I have grown so much like literally I've grown spiritually mentally emotionally every era and I feel like 25 is the year that like I'm now like fully like seasoned like into motherhood into life being an adult and it's crazy guys like it's absolutely crazy and all the setbacks and stuff that i have gotten through the year i just tell myself like they were just temporary little obstacles like you got over them and you can do so much more like i am just telling myself like all the goals and all the stuff that i've set out for this year I will look back and I will say I have done every single thing because at the end of the day I want to be proud of myself and just the same way I want my baby and my husband and my family to be proud of me and my friends too because I know that anything I set my mind to I can and I will do it. I saw like I saw like when I used to go to prep school <laughs> this video here guys because today's Friday and I'm trying to upload I think Oh shoot, it's currently 5 o'clock, dang it. I need to go wake up babe as well because babe said he wanted to go outside to cut the lawn because um, nephew and I try to go out on the weekends and spend some time outdoors. So I'm gonna go upload a video, not this video because this video is gonna take me some time to edit but I have other videos. So yeah, and you guys can look out for a video as I said on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday because that's my new posting schedule that i try to stick to i don't always but i try major word there try <laughs> all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching my little vloggy vlog well it's not a vlog my little video my little mom talk yeah i think i'm gonna call that like yeah this is gonna be one of those mom talks so yeah guys see you all on another video bye dream say bye Say bye. Say bye bye.